Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. There were a lot of leaks coming up regarding Ye Miko as we go to version 2.4 of Genshin Impact. They are considered sussy leaks so please take them with a grain of salt. But, according to you Batcha, the leaks would be such a waste if they are found to be fake. The leaks are highlighting Ye Miko's weapon. Constellations. An ascension stat and materials. I will also be talking about her leaked skill set. Let us begin. Weapon. We know that Ye will definitely be a Shrine Maiden character from her outfit and other dialogue. The first Narakami weapon, a catalyst, is in the shape of Kagura Suzu, a set of bells used by Shrine Maidens in rituals. In Japanese culture, the bells are used to lift the curses and drive away demons and bad spirits. According to the leaked screenshots, the weapon will be having crit damage as the main stat. Here is the translated version. Divine Sakura Dance, when an elemental skill is used, the character with this weapon equipped gains the Divine Dance effect. This effect increases elemental skill damage by 12%, lasts for 12 seconds, and can stack up to 3 times. When the character holds 3 stacks, they will receive 12% all elemental damage buff. Constellations. Ye Miko is widely accepted as the next DPS that will be on par with Ganyu and Xiao. If you're a whale, getting a C6 Ye Miko will unlock her full potential. But for low spender gamers like me, here are her leaked constellations in English. C1. Every time triggers a lethal Sakura Thunderbolt, Ye recovers 7 energy particles for herself. This was seconded by the first leak saying that Ye Miko does not have any energy problems. C2. Lethal Sakura's cooldown is reduced by 20%, and its attack area of effect is increased by 100%. Reduced skill means more DPS, and the area of effect is also doubled. With this, we can say that Ye Miko really hits like a truck. C3 and C5 increases her talent's levels. C4. When Lethal Sakura Thunderbolt triggered by Secret Technique, Heavenly Fox hits an enemy, all teammates receive a 20% Electro DMG bonus that lasts for fives. It does not say all members and only teammates. With this, Ye Miko can buff her Waifu Arkan and other Electro damages. C6. When a Lethal Sakura is created, its initial level is raised to 2, and its maximum level is increased to 4. Lethal Sakura's attacks will ignore 45% of enemies' defense. In the previous leaks, there are some parts where the skills and totem scales with the levels. Having C6 Ye Miko means having an ultimate bonker. Partnering Ye Miko with Jongli and Raiden C2 will give almost 100% decrease of defense in enemies. If you have a trouble reading all the translated version, feel free to pause the video. Ascension Stat and Materials Ye Miko's Ascension Bonus Stat is Crit Rate. I was hoping it will be crit damage since we don't have any catalyst user that has a crit damage as ascension stat bonus. For her materials, Ye Miko will be using the material from the new boss. Some of the beta players are saying that the material comes from the Enkonomiya boss. So hold your horses. If you already pre-farmed the storm beads like me, then it will be sad. Well, it is what it is. It can also be seen that she will be using C Ganoderma. There are tons of these in the map and you can start farming these. I am just a little bit concerned about the Sakura theme if Mahoyo will not use Sakura blooms. Skill set. There is also a leaked drawing showing the skill sets of Ye Miko. Someone rendered the drawing and and make it better to understand. Many player gave their own meaning and understanding of the photo. Here are what I can say. Her auto attack looks like Bida's elemental burst. It zaps the enemy and moves to another enemy. Her elemental skills look like a short dash and may be creating totems. It can also be seen that enemies hit while doing the dash were electrocuted. Her elemental burst creates a sigil above and zap all the enemies. I can wait to see the real skills. It was also leaked that there will be Sakura petals flowing around her burst so I can say that Ye Miko's burst will be one of the best burst animations we have in Genshin Impact. Again, these are just sussy leaks. Please take all of these leaks with a grain of salt. I also added in the comment section all of my sources so please go and check them. What do you think of the leaks? Let us talk about these leaks in the comment section. I can't wait to see how understand her skill set and the materials she needed. Thank you everyone for dropping. 
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe as I will keep you posted about the leaks and other news about Yei Miko.